this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore and today I'm sharing a little party favor or it even could be just a little thinking of you type gift or something like that but this is a birthday bubble gum party favor that's what I'm calling it but you can slide off your belly band here and when you open it and it were it's got the cute little ice cream paper I love that tasty treats and when you open it it has a full pack of bubble gum in it and this is really cute to give like a little party favor you can make them for showers baby showers or any kind of little party um, it would be really cute but you just slide your belly band back on and just like that and there you have your little party favor so this is what I'm sharing today so let's go ahead and get started with it alright I'm gonna make a watermelon wonder one this time so you're gonna need a piece that's ten and a half by three and a half and then to mat it you are going to need a piece that is two and three eighths by two and seven eighths and I am using the tasty treats which is this I love this paper is so stinking adorable I love this and it's double sided but we have two pieces of specialty paper here this one is one of them and it's got that little it's shiny and so is the strawberry one and it's so cute so they're all double sided they got little ice creams on them little confettis and the other side there's a little striped for that one so this is what we're using for this but um, I thought it was really cute for a birthday favor and then we're gonna need a piece for the belly band which is one inch by nine and then you're gonna need a piece of scrap whisper white and a piece of scrap um, watermelon wonder for this one the other one I did in peekaboo peach and pool party and this is pool party also and so I already took these to the big shot and used my scallop circle and my smaller one that layers inside now this is a whole set these are our layering circles we have squares circles and ovals and in, in, in our uh, layering framelits and to save time I just went ahead and ran these through so these are gonna layer on top of each other like that alright so let's get scoring this piece I'll grab my scoring tool here So on the three and a half inch side, we're going to score it at one half. And at three. Or one half inch on each side, whichever way you like to do it. And then on the ten and a half inch side, we're going to score it at three. Three and a half, seven, and seven and a half. And that is it. Okay, so now we have two sides that are three inches and then a longer side here in the middle. So you can cut this however you like. We're going to cut one long strip here off and do the same on the other side so this is going to be our flap and then we are going to cut each one of these and I kept the ones on the top you don't have to keep them but I thought it looked a lot neater just to fold those inside there was no like I'll show you um, when you don't cut them uh, there's like a little hole there and I didn't like the looks of that so I kept these little flaps here now you can cut in on these two to make them a little bit easier you absolutely do not have to but I just think it helps in folding the box and they'll fold in a lot easier for you 
Okay, so I'm going to grab my bone folder and sharpen all these score marks we just made. Okay, so we have all our score marks sharpened. And when you're making a box, it really is important to um, sharpen all your score marks. Now I'm going to use tear and tape. And this is going to be the inside of my box. So I want the tear and tape on the inside of these two panels right here. And I'm going to just use my bone folder here and grab my little pointed tool. This always helps to get your tear and tape backing off. Usually I take it from the middle. It works easier that way. And then we're going to fold these little tabs in these up and then this is going to come forward and we're going to seal that shut. So what I was saying here, if you left these off and you close it, there's like a little bit of a gap that you can see there. You don't have to do it, but I think it looks a lot neater when you fold these inside. Just like that. So we're ready to mat this, and so I'm going to get my little piece of my little tasty treat. I love the colors in here too. And we're going to put that on the front. And you know what? I wanted to round the corners of this, but I'm going to leave this one straight since I didn't round them. You can round the corners with your corner rounder. That's what I did on this one. It kind of makes it more look like a wallet, but you don't have to do it. So we're going to leave that like that. Now for the belly band, all I do is I center this on here and just bring it up like that. And then I just sharpen. It's, this is the easiest way to do it. You don't have to like measure and score and all that. Um, it just makes this so much easier. So we're going to just do that and then I'm going to just sharpen these with my fingers. You can use your bone folder and then we're going to go ahead and add some adhesive. I'm going to put that back on. And when you do this, make sure you leave just a little bit of a space so you can get your belly band on and off easy so you have a little bit of wiggle room. Alright, now we're ready to stamp and I'm just going to stamp my, normally I would stamp first and then run it through the big shot, but like I said I wanted to save some time. I'm going to use some pool party and the stamp set that I'm using for this is, it is the Ready to Pop. And I'm using this little circle here, and then I'm using just the happy birthday. I love the happy birthday in here. Okay, so let's stamp the little circle first in pool party. I didn't do too bad for not being able to look over it. And then we're going to stamp the happy birthday in chocolate chip. to use a dimensional. I'm going to put it right in the center here. I don't want to touch that because I don't want to. I can see the chocolate chip is still a little damp and I don't want to smear it. <laughs> I did smear my last one a little bit. So I'm being very cautious this time. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of adhe adhesive here. I would add it on the back there, but... Whoa. I really like the pool party with the watermelon wonder. It's really pretty. Okay, so we have our box done. Here's the other one, and when you have your... This one's kind of a little wonky right now. 
because I don't have the any more of the um, bubble gum. But you can see how solid that is when the bubble gum is in there. So which one do you like best? Leave me a comment. So if you need any supplies for this project, you can go to my blog as usual at stampingwiththemore.com and shop right for my blog. And also, don't miss my Spotlight Friday videos that I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I just went out walking and my allergies have gotten so bad. <laughs> but anyway, um, I've been doing Spotlight Friday videos with little tips and techniques and sometimes I just do a card or a tutorial, but um, I have a really cute project to share this Friday. So remember to stop by and check it out. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. That is it everyone. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.